you saw the title we made the hre islamic so if we look at the uh religion here it is all the islamic faith and the reason why i did this is because i think having a huge islamic nation in the middle of europe will have a different effect on the world and it's because the holy hre is usually catholic so i thought it would be a cool change so let's go ahead and see what this change does to the rest of the game Hey guys, I forgot to announce this in the video, but a quick little uh, thing, make sure to subscribe because if we get 5,000 subscribers before the end of the year, I'm giving away 10 Steam keys, and if we get to 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year, I'm doing a mega campaign and giving away another 25 Steam keys, so make sure to subscribe. Now enjoy the rest of the video. Thanks. So off the back, this nation will probably not uh, fall apart because what I actually did was I converted all the counties and the ruler and all the rulers in this land to be the Islamic faith. So they will not collapse as a nation. So this nation will be Islamic or whatever remains here will also be Islamic. Um, I think this will cause a ton of holy wars in this area because the Catholics usually can't do holy wars with each other. This will allow that to happen. So there might be a lot more wars in the beginning because usually they can only use prestige, but a lot of them are going to be able to use piety instead. This could also lead to the Byzantines being sandwiched by two Islamic nations. I hope so. Because you have this nation over here and the HRE, so they could easily crush this Orthodox. Um, the Byzantines did fail in our last video, so if you want to check out the Byzantines failing, check up in the top right corner, but... Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see if the Byzantines uh, have another failure. That would be great to see. Uh, there's a rebellion here, and it's just a tyranny. No big deal. I know who is crapping their pants right now, though, is the Pope. Oh, I shit my pants. Usually he is surrounded by Christians, but right now he has a huge uh, Islamic nation that is coming to pillage his uh, butthole. So he is going to be pretty scared, and I wouldn't be surprised if he's one of the first people to go. It is messy here in for the HRE. Uh, they're all the same religion. They're the Islamic faith. Uh, they have lost some land. They've gained some land, but... Um, they definitely have lost some land. Pretty much what is happening is what I thought. Everyone is going to war with them. Literally Croatia, Hungary, Poland, and France have been in non-stop war with them. So they're, they're struggling a bit. Help me. But I, I still think this might make some changes late game. Not sure, but hopefully. The one thing I will say is I think Iberia is definitely going to struggle uh, because France won't be able to help or push anything back. So the Islamic uh, faiths will really start to uh, connect here and really push this stuff back. So I think France and Iberia is going to fall first and then they're going to have a, a much better time. Um, but they're, they're going to get there. I believe in the HRE. They almost always fall apart, but I think they won't in this video. Stuff like this never stays. But oh my gosh, Hungary, I, you, you did something. This is, there's no way Hungary is going to keep all this land, but it's kind of fantastically disgusting. This is, this is insane. I, I if I'm going to be honest, I probably, it's probably going to be gone within the next 10 years. But if they don't, Hungary might have one of their best games ever. And you thought I was going to make some stupid joke like, ha ha, Hungary, they're really hungry. So they grabbed a lot. No, I have much better comedic taste than that. Italy looks like a hot mess right now, but most of this is the Islamic faith besides the part that the Byzantines hold. So it's a hot mess, but it's very, very Islamic, which is kind of what we want. So it's good to see that the Islamic faith is spreading somewhere because it's definitely not spreading up here. I think the HRE just needs some time to warm up because it's starting to look like they're expanding. They took some land from Poland, Hungary, and England. So they're actually really starting to uh, gain a lot of territory. And then actually all of Iberia is now the Islamic faith. Oh, well, pretty much. Navarra is the only thing left, but they won't stand a chance. So this actually may lead to some big changes. I think uh, France will probably fall at some point before the end date. And it's just going to be a very Islamic uh, world, uh, especially because this is just not going anywhere fast this is just going to cause a lot of problems over here there is still a possibility that this nation on the screen right here can ruin this game um they haven't collapsed yet uh and they're pretty powerful so will they ruin this game possibly i hope they don't uh but there's still a chance they will i spoke too soon i need to read the patch notes i don't know if the last patch uh, murdered the Byzantines. I just announced that they could ruin the game. I don't think so anymore. They have 
absolutely blown up. This is one of the more severe blowups of the Byzantines I've seen, um, mostly because there's a lot of independent nations. I think they still can be in it, but when a nation blows up like this, it puts them back a good 50 to 100 years to try to reunite their borders. Um, but this is exactly what I wanted to see, so I don't know what's happening. Um, I do also think the Persian Empire is a huge threat to the Byzantines. If you see this Persian Empire, they're one of the biggest empires we've seen in this game, so the Byzantines really gotta watch out. This is exactly what France didn't need. Uh, they really needed to stay united to try to uh, find off these Islamic nations. Uh, they weren't able to do that. So now France is weak uh, and splintered, which could lead to some um, really bad things happening. Um, the best solution right now is for England to take all this land, and then we have a powerful England defending the Catholics here. Uh, besides that, I think uh, it's not going to look too good uh, for these Catholic nations that remain. They're going to be absolutely destroyed. However, the HRE is looking good. They're really starting to give it to Poland and Hungary and the areas over here. They're expanding rapidly to the east. I think they're getting a lot of land. I think they're actually taking some land from France too. So I think, I think the HRE is finally getting their stuff together. So this should be good. I still don't think uh, France is losing any land too bad. Bad, but the HRE they're looking they're looking nice nice I know the ones that are watching right now really care about Iceland like we want to know what's Iceland up to they're up to following this religion that no one else is following they're the only nation in the world following this religion yeah I don't understand why Iceland does what Iceland does but you got to give them respect they, they they're doing their own thing why? No, the HRE has broken apart a little bit. Uh, we have more of a more of a or something. Um, they're pretty powerful. I don't know why he got his independence, but he did. Um, I want uh, what's it called? Uh, I want the HRE to take it back. This is this is a pretty powerful nation, but this could help because the HRE could go after France while these guys kill off Poland. So we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. I spoke too soon. It's worse. Holland is now here, but in Islamic Holland. So maybe Holland can make a trading company and uh, spread the Islamic uh, rule uh, around the world because otherwise uh, I don't know what Holland's going to do. Maybe they'll lose to Denmark. It kind of looks like that. So you know how I was talking about how Italy was looking really Islamic. Yeah, I take that back. Uh, the Pope decided not in my house and took most of Italy now. Um, with Croatia's help, uh, they're pretty much sharing um, Italy. Yeah, screw you, Pope. So the HRE is actually quite powerful again. They were able to grab some uh, land that was hungry and then wasn't hungry and then was hungry again. They're looking actually quite strong. Their borders are disgusting, but their military power is like 20,000. So they could actually probably win any war that they compete in. So um, the HRE is kind of back. I'm back, baby! If they kind of take back Bohemia and Frisia, they, they'd be looking pretty good. And they are also Islamic still. They're kind of spreading it, but the big problem in the room is the Pope. So we just got to watch out for him. The Pope is always super strong, and that's because he gets lovies from um, all the nations that are Catholic, and he gets a crap ton of gold. France is not having a good time. They've 100% blown off, and neither is the HRE. The hungry per part of uh, the HRE blew up, so nothing's going according to plan, and the Islamic faith is starting to struggle. Um, the only thing that's really going good is now uh, the Iberians can slingshot in. We are 40 years away from the end date, and it just looks disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. There's nothing actually good happening here. This is what we call disgustingness galore. I don't think anyone's really gonna get power. There's actually no really major nations out there. The only people that really look good is Scandinavia. Scandinavia looks actually insane. These nations look so good up here. Sweden definitely could get a lot of power, but over here, nothing really too weird. The religion has developed quite good, I have to say, in this area, but not what I was expecting. So the HRE has taken a bite out of the Byzantines and the Byzantines seem to be falling apart, which is great. Well, weird because they kind of were united when they fell apart. They actually got conquered. Usually they actually just like self-explode. They actually got conquered this time. 
We are at the end date, and I have to say, I'm not happy. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! With these end results, uh, not enough has changed. I think there's not a big enough nation to say they won. Uh, the Atrium and the Byzantines are kind of on the same level. Besides that, there's no one really that powerful. Sweden's really looking good in Scandinavia. But really, there's no powerful nation. So this is not going to be the end of the video. We're actually going to go way into the future, probably like another 600 years. Um, so there's going to be an unlisted time lapse uh, in the corner or in the description if you want to watch to get to there. But if you don't, then we're just going to cut to it right now. We are an extra hundred years into the future, and I have to say, the biggest standout I see is France is doing quite well. They ha there's two Frances actually, there's uh, Francia and France, but regular France is looking quite swell. Um, I think they're probably the winners of the game right now, unless if we count maybe this nation here. Um, besides that, I would have to say France, but it's something could quite well. I really want to know, what's the faith of these nations? Is faith, France, are they Catholic? Are they not? And they are... They are not. This is exactly what I kind of wanted to see. The Islamic faith has really spread everywhere. I'm actually really surprised how much it spread in India over here. Really, because we didn't buff them that much um, over in this area. But I think um, Europe being already Islamic allowed for these Middle Eastern Islamic nations to spread more into India rather than stay and fight in Europe. So I have to say, it's quite interesting. Um, the, the, the faith is doing pretty good. France is definitely kind of like the standout nation that really sees my eyes. 400,000 troops. Yeah, so they're powerful. This nation's also looking quite swell here. And I just say this is quite impressive with a lot of nations. Um, so if you wanted to see the time lapse of the, the last thousand years it will actually be an unlisted video that you can watch um if you actually think i should make that video public let me know in the comments but this is actually quite interesting cultures very greek wow is this nation actually greek here yes they are wow that's quite interesting we have a greek islamic nation here they are also greek wow there's a lot of greek so we might have had a powerful byzantines that um got converted that's what i'm kind of thinking right here i haven't seen the time outs, but this is actually quite impressive so if you are interested in other videos please let me know down in the comments down below this is quite interesting i think this is a formed empire which is even cooler but thank you so much for watching make sure to leave a like and subscribe when we get to 5,000 subscribers i will give out 10 steam uh keys so make sure to make sure to subscribe and see you later have a good one bye